Hello there everyone, and welcome to your weekly MTA plan work video for the Queen Subways and Long Island Railroad for the weekend of September 28th, 2018, and lasting until Monday, October 1st, 2018. Just a heads up, I have my windows open here in the studio uh, as I'm recording this because honestly, this is not air conditioning weather and uh, for once I want to save money on the AC bill take advantage of uh, what's being handed to me today with Mother Nature. And I know, I know it sucks being in an area where I'm right by an airport because LaGuardia Airport's literally miles away from me, but if you do hear the airplanes going by and any cars, I apologize for that, everyone. But before I get completely off topic, a lot to discuss as usual. Uh, we have a few headaches to discuss at the end of the video with the Long Island Railroad. Uh, right at the end of this presentation, I have an important slide regarding the LIRR, and uh, you know, I will get to that. But also, our usual service changes for the Queen Subways. So, we'll get the Queen Subways out of the way first before we get to the Long Island Railroad, as usual. But let's start off with our first slide. First up, is there any work on the 7 line? Due to high demand for David Wright's last professional Major League Baseball game, there is no work on the 7 line this weekend to accommodate passengers for the Saturday, September 29, 2018 game as the New York Mets will be playing the Miami Marlins. And as I just mentioned, this will be David Wright's last professional Major League Baseball game. Uh, I'm assuming as I'm recording this video, uh, the Mets have planned a pre-game ceremony to honor his career. Uh, I remember when Alex Rodriguez retired for the Yankees a few years ago. Um, they did the same thing for Alex as he was retiring at Yankee Stadium. So I'm assuming the Mets will be doing the same uh, for their captain, David Wright. And honestly, there is no need to have any plan work this weekend on the seven. Even if there was, the MTA probably realized that people were going to need 7 service anyway to get to and from Mullet's Point. As again, as I just mentioned, there is a high demand of service for the 7 that day. So, of course, you need to have the 7 for uh, a guy who is, of course, retiring on Saturday. So, pretty much, they had to do this, the MTA... Andy Byford, again, is looking out for us on the 7. He's realizing that, you know, big events like this demand customers' needs for travel to Mets Bullets Point. So, Mr. Byford, I want to commend you on that this weekend. But hopefully, this is the right move. And if any other work is planned in October, there's pretty much a good reason why it needs to be done. So... Move on to the next slide. What's going to happen on the M train again? Oh boy, I, I always hate talking about the M. Always do. Friday, oh, excuse me, Saturday, September 29th to Monday, October 1st. And uh, that's a typo, everyone. I don't know how in the world. Did the MTA mess up on that notification? That was supposed to say Monday. So, yes. Saturday to Monday. 29th through the 1st. 3.45 p.m. Uh, 3.45 a.m. Saturday to 10 p.m. Sunday. Metropolitan Little Village bound M trains will skip Hugh Street, Lomier Street, and Flushing Avenue due to track replacement. And just a friendly reminder again, this has always been happening on Fridays. M service will end early, 8.15 p.m. Friday, September 28th, between Forest Hill 71st Avenue and the Lance Exit Street due to track replacement. Another hectic service change, Saturday and Sunday, the 29th and the 30th, 6.30 a.m. to 12 midnight. M service will run every 20 minutes due to the track replacement work. And same time frame. We have something different here. And we've seen this a few weeks ago. 
M service will run to and from Jamer Street J Station due to track replacement. Trains will be stopping at Bowery and Canal Street. Make sure I had that in the slide because if uh, it wasn't, then I would not be in a good mood. So now I'm in a better mood because that got added. J Riders! You J Riders in Ozone Park, once again, your misery continues. I really feel bad for you guys down there. Let's go over it again. 3.45 a.m. Saturday to 10 p.m. Sunday, the 29th and the 30th. Free shuttle buses and the E-Train will replace J-Train service between Crescent Street and Jamaica Center due to station improvements. J service will run between Broad and Crescent Streets. Free shuttle buses will make all J stops between Crescent Street and 121st Street and connect with the E-Train at Jamaica Van Wyck. Transfer between trains and free shuttle buses at Jamaica Van Wyck E-Train Station and or Crescent Street J Station. September 29th from the 30th, same time frame, 3.45 a.m. Saturday, 10 p.m. Sunday. Crescent Street bound J trains will skip Hughes, Lomier, Hughes and Lomier Streets and Flushing Avenue due to track replacement. I wanted to bring that up again, but the J because I just feel really bad for people in Ozone Park. Also want to remind everybody about the E again. We have signal modernization causing E trains to run local in both directions here in Queens starting on Saturday, September 29th at 12.01 a.m. and lasting until 5 a.m. Monday, October 1st. And I'm going to say this again. If anybody's complaining about express service, the MTA has to do this. The signals have to be fixed. Because remember, this is part of the uh, fast forward plan by Andy Byford. So again, Andy Byford's doing the right thing. So if anybody is judging the job Andy Byford is doing and complaining about express, work, express service, too bad. Too bad. At least the E is not changing tracks in Manhattan. So at least you get your E service this weekend. And I'm going to mention this now. If you want service to Queen Center Mall, you will be able to get E service at Woodhaven Boulevard. So that is very good news if you want service to the mall this weekend. Same with the F. Same with the F train. We have the signal modernization project. So once again, if you are taking the E and or the F train, you do not need to transfer at Forest Hills 71st Avenue or transfer at Jackson Heights Roosevelt Avenue Station. So you'll have your local service. I'm not going to go in-depth about the F anymore because honestly, it's just a headache to talk about. I'll let uh, Matt Camper go in depth more about it on his presentation this week but uh, 28th right this is Friday going until Monday the 1st 9.30 p.m. Friday to 5 a.m. Monday app service will be rerouted in both directions via the Q Express between Lexington Avenue and 63rd Street and Atlantic <coughs> Atlantic Avenue and Barclay Center and via the D between Lexington Avenue and Barclay Center and Stillwell Avenue due to track replacement. So, I'm going to say this again, and nobody should be complaining about this. It is not a long walk if you are planning to take the queue line from Times Square 42nd Street to Bryant Park or Rockefeller Center. If you need service to those stations, I urge you, Please just walk. It's the easiest option in Manhattan. Alright? And, and I tell everybody this. There's always a way to walk to somewhere in Manhattan. Even if it's to a station that's not accessible. I'm only mentioning Times Square 42nd Street because on the network, <clears throat> it is a pivotal station for people who cannot normally access 
the luxuries of Rockefeller Plaza or Bryant Park. In fact, I'll mention it. If you're at Times Square, there is an exit at 43rd Street that you can walk to. And then you can walk to um, 45th Street, which I would not recommend because normally there are guys selling CDs around there. So if you want to avoid those guys, just walk on 44th Street if you want to get to 6th Avenue. Trust me. But if you exit from 42nd Street and you want to go to Bryant Park, those guys are not hanging around there. So just want to give you the FYI on that. I always wonder why they hang out around 45th Street. Every time I walk from 45th Street where I normally come from Bookwalf, I say to myself, no, I don't want to deal with them. I walk one block south on Avenue of the Americas and then just go that way. Which again, Avenue of the Americas is literally by Rockefeller Plaza. So you don't have to get lost and be like, oh, well, uh, he didn't tell us to go to Avenue of the Americas in the first place. Well, now I'm telling you to, which is 6th Avenue. So please just uh, remember that. Good news is our service will not be uh, impacted here in Queens or on the entire R line. So it's very good news. So you can use the R, E, or F for local service this weekend here in Queens on the Queens Boulevard main line. N train. Good news is the entire line will not be out this weekend. <laughs> However, from Friday to Monday, 9.45 p.m. to 5 a.m., the uh, 28th to the 1st, Astoria Dittmar's bound and trains will skip 36th Avenue and 30th Avenue due to station enhancements. For service to those stations, the Q102 bus is available if you want to get off the Queensboro Plaza. Or, you can take a Manhattan-bound train at Astoria Boulevard or Dittmar's Boulevard and go southbound. Just remember, there is no service at 39th Avenue and Broadway due to, again, station enhancements until February 2019. G-Train! Here you go again with the G-Train, folks! Friday to Monday, 9.45 p.m. Friday to 5 a.m. Monday, the 28th for the 1st. Free shuttle buses will be replacing G-Trains between Bedford, Nostrand Avenue, and Court Square due to track maintenance. G-Service runs between Church Avenue and Bedford, Nostrand Avenue. Shuttle buses will make all G stops between Bedford, Nostrand Avenue, and Court Square. Transfer between trains and buses at Bedford, Nostrand Avenue. Now, here's the problem with this. All right, I'm I'm okay with it for now, but we have a big problem coming up in the next couple of weeks, folks. And if my girlfriend is watching, I'm pretty sure she knows what's going on here. Next weekend, October 6th, the New York Islanders will be playing their first home game at the Barclays Center against the Nashville Predators. This is the one weekend of the entire month the MTA should not be doing any track maintenance. So I am urging Andy Byford, do not have any track maintenance next weekend for this home game. The New York Islanders, the next three Saturdays in the month of October. And again, my girlfriend's very familiar with the schedule. The week after, they will be at Nashville. The 20th, they will be at San Jose. And then the week after, they will be at Philadelphia. Which, by the way, Matt Camper is going to that game on the 27th. So, once again, Andy Byford, I am urging you. Do not have any service changes on the G-Line next weekend. And there is one reason why I am bringing this up. And there is one reason 
I am bringing it up right now. The G train actually drops off people normally to have access for the Barclay Center. And that station is Fulton Street. People need service to Fulton Street next weekend for the New York Islanders' first home game against the Nashville Predators. So once again, Andy Byford, if you're watching this, and I'm sure maybe my girlfriend will get on board with this, because if it involves the Islanders, she'll, she'll, she'll want to care. We do not need RG service to be terminated next weekend. If you want to do work, the following three weekends in October, you can do that then. But not next weekend, October 6th. Not when people need service to Fulton Street. That's where I am my point. Quickly remind everybody that here in Queens, there is no service changes to report on the A line. So that is very good that uh, no service changes at stations east of 80th Street in Queens. That's very good news. I'll have to start doing that next week in the PowerPoint. Just, you know, east of 80th Avenue. And that way I don't get confused from now on when I do this. But I'm going to say this now before we get to the Long Island Railroad. I will be making an epic rant if I see any G service terminated next weekend. All right? I will be irate if they are discriminating against New York Islander fans. I will just have had it with the MTA if 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 they do that next weekend. So, last but not least, I have to warn you all about temporary platforms on the Long Island Railroad. Due to track work for east side access, the Long Island Railroad may plan to use temporary platforms at any given time between Friday, September 28, 2018, and Monday, October 1, 2018. Stations will include Woodside, Forest Hills, and Kew Gardens. So please, I am urging you, do not get caught off guard. I'm warning you all now. I do not need anybody freaking out over the temporary platforms. It's going to happen. I have somebody that told me this back on Wednesday that they are being put in place. There's no way to get out of it. I'm not going to say my source because then it'll be controversial. But I know it's going to happen. So if Andy Quinto is watching this video right now, I'm going to call him out. I warned you. I warned everybody else. It's a Lisa Pika. I know. So please, again, there's no need to yell about it because, again, I could yell about the... I need to save my voice for the G-Train rant next week if it does happen, but... If... I didn't warn you all right now, you would be all caught off guard. So please just remember, this is on the record so that way I don't confuse anybody. But if they remove temporary platforms and didn't tell... Somebody didn't tell me, man, it's somebody else. Great, it's good news. But I know they're coming. So don't get caught off guard, everyone. Lastly, we are going to take a look at the two other service changes on the Long Island Railroad's website for the Babylon and Port Jefferson Huntington branch. We are now on the Long Island Railroad's website. We did not do this last week because there was only one minor service change in City Terminal Zone last weekend at Kew Gardens and Forest Hills. This weekend, we have two major service changes on the Huntington and Port Jefferson branch plus the Babylon branch. So first up, we will read this service change on the Huntington and Port Jefferson branches. First up, this will start 
at 11 p.m. on Saturday, September 29th, and will continue all day on Sunday, September 30th. Buses are going to be replacing trains between Huntington and Port Jefferson to accommodate track work. Service will resume at 1 a.m. on Monday morning, October 1st, 2018. In advance of the Monday morning rush hour, Sunday service will be affected as follows. Westbound, customers at stations Port Jefferson and Greenlawn will board buses up to 23 minutes earlier than normal train times. At Huntington, customers will connect with trains for service to points west. <clears throat> Excuse my squeakiness there, but uh, my throat's getting dry again. <laughs> I drink a lot of water and yet this is how I get treated from Mother Nature. Let's go to eastbound now. I get the subject at hand. Eastbound customers traveling the station's green lawn through Port Jefferson will transfer to buses at Huntington. Please plan for up to 22 minutes of additional travel time. Also, it's very important to please pick up a copy of the special Port Jefferson Branch track work schedule at your station dated September 29th and the 30th, which will be Saturday and Sunday, or go on to the MTA's website for the PDF file. A similar program will be in effect, believe it or not, two weeks from this weekend on, I'm going to get the dates correctly, here we go, Saturday, October 13th, and Sunday, October 14th, because I knew I had a cue card for this, and I was like, where's the cue card? Oh, here it is. <laughs> Believe me, behind the scenes, I, I sometimes will keep cue cards for the necessary stuff, and I plan this out, I was like, where's that cue card? There it is, I wanted to make sure that the dates were right. <laughs> All right, so... Now that we got the Pointington Port Jefferson branch out of the way, we will discuss this issue on the Babylon branch that actually took place last weekend. And I wasn't able to mention to you all last weekend because the Long Island Railroad announced it pretty much a day before the work was planned. <clears throat> so the following will take place on the Babylon branch. Due to switch replacement work east of Freeport Station, Babylon Branch train service will run on adjusted schedules in both directions starting at 12.01 a.m. Saturday, September 29th through 12.20 p.m. Sunday, September 30th due to switch replacement work east of Freeport. I said this just a few seconds ago because, you know, I wanted to make sure the point would... Um, Point would be made here from yours truly so that we nobody gets confused there is of course a copy of the special Babylon branch schedule timetable here on the Long Island Railroad's website which you can also pick up at your Babylon branch station um, also I also want to mention the switch replacement in Freeport and east side access work west of Woodside will also require schedule changes on most other Long Island Railroad branches this weekend. So as I was just mentioning, you have the east side access work causing the other branches to be affected by this too. And that's why I mentioned again, the temporary platforms are possible. So I don't want anybody getting caught off guard by this. I warned you all Hopefully Matt Camper is going to warn you all. Hopefully Jason Anthony Pinheiro is going to warn you all. Because honestly, this battle with the temporary platforms are not over yet. I came up with a theory um, while I was going to Hicksville on Tuesday. And I, will, I was thinking to myself, if we have to deal with the third track for the next four years which I know 2022 is four years from now. Most likely because of this track work, 
And maybe this is what Elisa Pika is trying to tell us. Maybe she's trying to tell us something. That it's possible that we could be stuck with these temporary platforms until 2022 when the third track will be completed, number one. And uh, number two, when Eastside Access is completely available, which everybody knows, me personally, I'm excited about the future with the third track. I'm very happy about the double track on the Ronkonkoma branch. I'm very happy that within the next two years, Montague Station will be open. And not to mention that we'll finally get service at Grand Central. So we have to all be patient with these temporary platforms. Hopefully by 2022 or 2023, they'll be gone. And we don't have to talk about this situation again. But I'm going to keep reminding you all every weekend so that way you don't get caught off guard for the next, I'd say, three to four years. That's my theory that I came up with on Tuesday. So, before I ramble on and on and on, that's going to wrap up this week's service changes video. Once again, for more in-depth coverage about the F train, please tune to Matt Camper's channel. He'll give you more information on uh, what to expect in Brooklyn. Hopefully, Chase and Anthony will do the same as well. So, thank you all for watching. Until the next one, please take care.